Hi, welcome back to Nage Virtual Science. We're still working on our goal for the week. Our goal, let me remind you, is I want you guys to be able to explain uh, how scientists learn about Earth's history. Okay, what are those processes? What do they do? How do we know about past events? So the past couple of days, we've been talking about uh, the processes that they use to create a timeline of events. They use relative dating to say something is older or younger than something else. They use absolute dating to come up with a numerical value for how, um, how old something is in years. And so those are the things that they use. Now we're gonna talk about today, what exactly are they studying? Okay, so what are they looking at? Um, today, I'm gonna be talking to you about fossils, okay? About how scientists use fossils to learn about the past. After this video, you and your classmates are gonna create some flip grids and talk about some other things that scientists study in order to learn about Earth's history. Again, my video is all about how we use fossils. So what exactly is a fossil? A fossil is the trace or remnants of a once living organism. And it can be anywhere from a trace of its burrow that it lived in, um, or imprint that the physical animal left, like a footprint, or imprint that the plant left, like a palm frond leaf um, image. Uh, it could be the actual remnants from the organism, like a shell or bone, um, parts of the body um, of that organism, or parts of the plant that have fossilized. And those are the things that scientists will study, and they have created what's known as the fossil record. It's a timeline of organisms that have lived in the past. Now, the fossil record is a snapshot of Earth's history, okay? It's not complete, and here's why. Fossils require specific conditions in order to remain a fossil and for us to find it intact. So we've been talking about weathering and erosion, and so if a fossil forms, right, it needs to be under the right conditions, okay, in order for the fossil to form, but then it has to be um, hidden from all the elements that can cause weathering and erosion in order for it to be preserved. And the chances of that happening are very slim. So we don't have a complete record of all the things that lived on Earth, uh, but it's just a snapshot of what did exist. So what do fossils tell us about Earth's history? Well, it tells us a little bit about the environment in the past. And here's how. Fossils of fish have been found in the Rocky Mountains, high up in the Rocky Mountains, in the western part of the United States, okay? This suggests that at one time, that place was an aquatic environment, that there was an ocean above it. Okay, in fact, much of the United States has, um, there have been fossils of aquatic organisms found all over the United States, um, which would lead us to um, come to the conclusion that there was once a shallow sea above much of North America. Uh, and they can uh, determine this by the types of fossils they're finding. Um, the trilobite fossil is very similar to an organism today known as the horseshoe crab, which lives in shallow seas. And so they're making those connections. Um, other things about the environment you can learn from fossils is if you find palm fronds, which is a tropical plant, if you find palm frond fossils, say in Antarctica, that would suggest that at one time that area was a warm climate. So those are some of the things that um, scientists can discover and learn about Earth's past. So I mentioned before that scientists will compare organisms 
living today to the fossils of the organisms of the past, like the trilobite fossil to the horseshoe crab that lives today. Um, this is them making connections, and this will tell them a lot of different things about the environment, um, not just uh, if it's aquatic or not, but if you're comparing, say, a mammoth type fossil to elephants that live today, um, the teeth are similar. And so that's gonna suggest what the organism ate in the past, okay? Because we're making connections to the living things today. How are they similar to the fossils that we're finding? And so you can make um, educated guesses and talk about that if the mammoth was living and it's connected to the elephant and they have similar teeth, well, there must have been similar plants that they were eating and have that type of environment in the past. So those are some things um, that scientists use to tell us about the environment in the past. Scientists also study how life has changed, okay? We've seen fossils of dinosaurs. We know there aren't dinosaurs here right now on Earth presently. So we can track through the fossil record how life has changed over time, um, how certain organisms existed during this time period but went extinct and are no longer here. And that will talk to us a lot about um, the environment and the climate as well to learn about Earth's history. So now it's your turn. You've all been assigned a specific topic, okay? And you're going to read what I posted on Google Classroom about that topic. And you're gonna go create your Flipgrid. And everyone is gonna watch your Flipgrid and learn about your topic from you. Um, you're gonna be my student teachers today. Um, so go ahead and uh, identify what topic you've been assigned, uh, read the material, summarize it, look at the Flipgrid directions, create your Flipgrid, watch everybody else's and comment what you have learned from them. Um, and their topic is they're showing you some of the other things that scientists um, study in order to learn about Earth's past. Thanks, see you all later.